Hello everyone, welcome back to Satoya's Home and Lifestyle. Today I'm bringing you another DIY wall art and here I have all the supplies that I'll be working with, paint brushes and as you can see I've already prepped and have my canvas laid down. Right now I'm mixing my paint colors, I'm working with neutral tones because I feel like it's harder for me to mess up with these colors and it goes along with my decor style. So right now I just want you guys to grab your favorite drink, maybe a cup of coffee, get comfortable and enjoy me creating this piece of art. So right here I'm putting on the first coat of paint on my canvas and I'm going for more of a sandy, uh, taupey kind of khaki tone. Now that you guys are all comfortable, don't forget to like and subscribe. Share my videos so that more people can be aware of my YouTube channel. And also, leave me a comment down below. I would love to know if you guys love the end result of this piece or if you guys would like to see more of um, these kind of content. Okay, so go ahead and enjoy, you guys, and I'll be popping back in to explain some of the things you'll see me doing. Okay, so what you guys see me doing here is mixing up a second batch of paint. I've added some more white to this one because the first layer of paint was just giving me a pinky undertone and that was not what I was going for. So I thought if I added a little bit more white to the paint, then um, that should do it. And I actually don't even remember the name of that paint because I've had it for such a long time and it was covered with uh, paint so to be honest I don't even remember the name but I thought um, if I mix it well enough with a lighter shade that it would give me the khaki color that I wanted to be the base so what you see me doing here now is testing to see if those two layers are dried and just to make sure I'm gonna use my blow dryer go over it a few times So in this next step, I'm taking a pencil to trace out some shapes or patterns that I thought would look nice, but more importantly, uh, something that would be easy for me to do. And if you watch my last DIY video, you'll notice that I mentioned I am not an artist by any means, shape or form, but I just, I like creating. So. Sometimes I'll freestyle and sometimes I'll go on Google and see if there's any image that I like. I'm always careful to not copy from any image because I do not want to be copyrighted, um, especially now because I'm publishing these works. So I'm very careful about doing that. But once I have my pictures, I'll be going over them with my other paint colors. I almost forgot to mention that I have a surprise for you guys. I thought it would be great to include it into this video. Um, but if you don't want to miss it, stay tuned. And you guys don't cheat. Don't skip to the end. Stay tuned and enjoy. Hopefully this is bringing you some satisfaction or you're pulling some inspiration from this. So you guys enjoy and I'll see you at the end.
So I told y'all that I had a surprise for you guys and here it is. I'm not gonna lie, at this point, I'm super nervous because the package came damaged and to be honest, the box was looking a little bit smaller than I thought it would have looked. So we're gonna go ahead and open it, see what's inside, see if there's any internal damage, if I need to return it or if it was just the box that was damaged. So here we go. So after looking through the package, everything seemed like it was intact, nothing was broken. So I just decided to go ahead and put it together. Uh, as you can see also from my outfit that this was a few days earlier, but as I was recording my video for the painting, I thought why not go ahead and include it because I had mentioned in my shopping haul video that I was expecting a coffee table and so here it is um, it was easy to install I would say but I did run into some trouble with the screws and you'll see that later on where it took me forever to get one of the screws in it seemed like it would not budge and this is not wood so it's not a soft material where I could just pry it in there uh, I started with a handheld screwdriver and then I went for my power drill but that wasn't charged enough so there was not much power in it and I was struggling. Your girl was oh, struggling with life here and so my husband saw me struggling and came to help me and we put it together but I would say it's pretty easy to install except for the trouble that I ran into with the screws.